Making history, the Parker Solar Probe shattered expectations by becoming the first spacecraft to bravely venture into the scorching depths of the sun. Navigating through the sun's searing corona, where temperatures soared to a mind-boggling million degrees Celsius, the Parker Solar Probe encountered the hottest region of the solar atmosphere. So what made the Parker Solar Probe's journey into the Sun so historic? To put it in perspective, the surface temperature of the Sun is estimated to be around 5,600 degrees Celsius, which is already incredibly hot. By comparison, 5,600 degrees is more than four times hotter than lava, which typically ranges from 700 to 1,300 degrees Celsius. It can be argued that for us mere mortals, the temperature is beyond imaginable limits. Yet, it emerged unscathed, leaving us all wondering, how did it survive the inferno? Did it have a hidden fireproof cape? The Parker Solar Probe was designed with a single goal in mind, to explore the sun's corona. This Latin word for crown refers to the outermost layer of the sun, consisting of plasma that extends millions of kilometers into space. Typically shrouded by the sun's intense glare, the corona can only be observed during a total solar eclipse, or through a device called a chronograph, which blocks direct sunlight. Because looking directly at the sun can result in permanent eye damage. Why is the sun's surface only lukewarm at a temperature of 5,600 degrees Celsius, while its corona sizzles at over a million degrees? The mystery behind the scorching temperatures in the sun's corona continues to perplex scientists. Despite its blazing temperature, the corona remains an enigma, with its particle density surprisingly low. Could there be an undisclosed process fueling the heat in this fascinating region? The difference between heat and temperature is crucial to understand. Temperature measures how fast particles are moving, while heat represents the total energy transfer potential of those particles. So, even if particles are vibrating rapidly with a high temperature, if there are too few of them, they won't transfer enough energy and correspond to lower heat. An easy example of temperature and heat in terms of particle density is the comparison between a metal spoon and a wooden spoon. Both spoons can be heated to the same temperature by holding them over a flame. However, when you touch the metal spoon, it will feel much hotter than the wooden spoon because the particle density of metal is much higher allowing for more energy to be transferred and greater heat. This shows how particle density can greatly impact the transfer of heat, even if the temperature is the same. This concept of heat versus temperature is the foundation for keeping the Parker Solar Probe safe from melting as it dives into the sun's corona. As Parker flies through the sun's torrid atmosphere, it comes across fewer hot particles, meaning it doesn't heat up as much as it would on the sun's visible surface. Despite the fiercely high temperatures of millions of degrees, the sun-facing heat shield only reaches a sizzling 1,400 degrees Celsius or 2,500 degrees Fahrenheit. To put that into perspective, 1,400 degrees Celsius is about 25 times hotter than the hottest recorded temperature on Earth, which was 56.7 degrees in Furnace Creek Ranch, California, USA. So, what's the secret behind the Parker Probe's ability to withstand the heat? It's all thanks to its innovative thermal protection system, or the TPS. This impressive system is comprised of a carbon composite foam shield, ingeniously sandwiched between two carbon plates, offering unparalleled protection against the very, very hot temperatures. The Parker Solar Probe's cooling system is a work of genius. As water circulates behind the arrays, it absorbs heat before radiating it into the vast expanse of space through the radiator. But that's not all. The heat shield's edges are guarded by seven clever sensors. If any of them detect the harsh rays of direct sunlight, they send an alert to the central computer, which quickly adjusts the spacecraft's position, ensuring all components stay safely tucked behind the heat shield. Thanks to this smart design, the probe is able to gather a treasure trove of data without melting into a puddle. If everything goes to plan, it will send back information from a mind-bending 6.16 billion kilometers from the sun's surface by the end of its mission. Uncovering secrets from depths never before reached, this groundbreaking probe is taking us to the very heart of our solar system. We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon as we will be bringing you more interesting videos just like this one. We'll see you in the next one.